EIDL grant applicants are receiving loan amounts very fast. This is an LL8 exclusive update for Sunday, May 10th. As always, like and subscribe to this channel and comment below. We may feature your comments in tomorrow's video update. And we have a lot of comments today. Hopefully we can get them to them all. An enormous video we did today moments ago for the EIDL loan. So watch that um, if you wonder a little bit more about the loan process. So the EIDL grant, as we exclusively reported on Friday, SBA has now indicated that if you receive your EIDL grant, expect two to three weeks thereafter you should receive an email. Now this email is not the one that you may have received or heard about that says, hi, we're working on stuff. Not that email. It's an email that invites you to go to a portal, a portal maintained by SBA. At that portal, you'll then be asked to sign in. The sign in will then ask you to to, to verify a series of very simple questions. On Saturday, we had asked you to comment below, what happens thereafter? What loan amounts were you given? What happened about those loan amounts? How quickly were you approved? What were your credit scores? And how soon did you see the funds? Well, we got those answers for you. <laughs> Amazing. So you go into this portal, you answer these series of questions. They're very basic questions. I'll add this one factor for you. A lot of you have talked about incorrect banking information. It allows you apparently on one part of this portal to correct the banking account that you want to have listed. Uh, at that point, it will then prompt you to accept a loan amount. As reported in our EIDL loan story, these loan amounts are all over the place. And I'll say it to you as simply as this. A lot of you have commented about conjecture and speculation you've heard elsewhere on the news that they're only giving this and they're only giving that. Well, go watch that EIDL loan story because you are going to be shocked that the loan amounts are literally all over the place. We have comments from readers like you that are getting loan amounts of as low as $1,000 and some of you getting up to over a quarter million dollars. Some of you with bad credit scores, some of you have great credit scores. But here's the great news, and this is more shocking details. Most, if all of you, commented that at the end of that steps, you then click a button, you sign a DocuSign document, and at that point, it says whether approved or rejected. Nine out of 10 of you said you're then accepted, you received an acceptance. And what's really wonderful is that the vast majority, with the exception of one of you, which I think was on a Saturday where banks are closed, said that within 24 hours of clicking the accept button for the amount you chose, the funds landed in your account. It's that fast nature that's currently going on with SBA for EIDLs. We can also report to you exclusively that some of you, and there are now a few of you, about five of you that have indicated you applied on last money for the agricultural EIDL loan and grant, that you have not only received the grant, but also the loan application and the loan amount by the time we're recording this video on Sunday. It's that type of rapid speed that SBA is going through. But on the other hand, there's bad news, and the bad news appears in some of these comments. The bad news appears to be those who applied for an EIDL grant on March 30th or March 31st. For reasons LLA really still has no way to answer for you, it appears that a lot of you on those two dates encountered problems. Of those that of you who are commenting of not receiving EIDL grant monies to this day, the vast majority of you over this weekend are still March 30th and March 31st persons. And I'm really not quite sure why. My advice to you is call SBA, but at the moment I really don't know. And I don't know what is going on with those two days. Grandma Ducky says the same thing. She says she keeps on calling SBA and they tell her something di different every day. That's what I told you. You keep on calling SBA because we can speak to three different representatives and get three different answers. Kanala says, I sp called SBA and almost immediately an, an agent answered. They asked me the grant number. Oh, oh I, I gave him the grant number and he said my application is still processing, but I haven't gotten now. I applied on March 30th and also April 6th. There you go. It's this March 30th. I mean, I've seen half a dozen of you almost in just a few days talk about this March 30th group that applied for EIDL grants. You've not seen the money. BC Nation. I'm an LLC. I use my EIN. I haven't received anything but two generic emails. Uh, call SBA. You, you've done it right. You've done. If you've not received your EIDL grant by now, May 
May 10th, call SBA. If you don't like the answer, call SBA again and ask to be escalated because it's been far more than four weeks. Um, Josh says the loan amounts are different for each individual up to 150000 They are different. Um, that, is, that is a universal, that is a correct statement. The loan amounts, if you go watch the EIDL loan video we did today, are all over the place. And some of, for some reason, they have strange numbers that follow, like $3,125. It's just strange numbers. Now, there's also another big shocker. In that EIDL store we, we detail, there is a purported calculation that's swirling around that involves cost of goods that you listed, um, your, your, your annual cost of goods and your revenue that you put on your SBA original application that is the basis of the loan amount. Um, if true, if you can recall the amount, the amount, if you can call how much you listed as your annual revenue in your original EIDL application, that could be one of the grounds upon the range of where your loan amount is falling. Wendy says, I got an email portal uh, in, invite for the portal two days ago. Everything has been verified except the signed document, so we won't click it. It gave me a $36,500 figure, but still says it's being processed. Or do I get it or what? I applied for agricultural. Oh, so she applied for agricultural on Monday. Um, I'm not sure from Wendy's comment if she's talking about she's received the grant and now she's on to the loan process. Um, what we've heard from the what we've heard from everyone is that as soon as you accept, you're either accepted or rejected. There was one person, Jeep Willie, who indicated he was rejected within uh, minutes after accepting. But almost everyone else says that once they accepted it, then the funds appeared in their account the next day. This is for the loan. Uh, Jean Baptista says I applied on April 6 and I've received nothing, no grant or loan. Not good. Call SBA. Call SBA and keep on calling SBA until you get the information you need. Uh, ask to be escalated to a Tier 2 representative. Say it's been over four weeks. Tell them the territory that you applied out of, where your business is located or where you're located, and get on it uh, and stay with it. Joey, got my $1,000 grant. My credit score wasn't even checked. Congrats, Joey. And if you're waiting for that EIDL loan, uh, stay with us and comment when you get that loan. We'd love to hear from you. Lindsay, I called SBA to ask if they missed up, messed up my application uh, and was told there was no way to see my application. Now I have to wait in here for a personal loan officer. Uh, Lindsay, that sounds a mess. Um, I would call back SBA if you know the date that you apply for EIDL grant. If you know the date the credit score is taken on your EI on your EIDL grant application, then I would call SBA and I would say to them, "Hey, it's been four weeks, it's been five weeks. Escalate it. Ask for a supervisor. If you don't get the answer, call back and do it again with another person until you say, "Hey, where is my grant money?" Have faith pressure. I wonder why the credit score has to be taken to get an approval for a loan. Uh, it's it's a loan. Patty, thanks for being the clearinghouse for what's really happening with EIDL. Well, thank you, Patty, and thanks you for tuning in. On Monday, I applied for the agricultural EIDL. Okay, here we go. I put my business name in, and my I put my business in business name in, but my personal social security number. After watching your video, I called SBA twice. Both said to reapply with my name as the sole pri proprietor and SSN. Okay, so she messed, she applied to agriculture. So we're having a lot of you that are agriculture. I'm glad you're watching. Uh, this may be the sixth agricultural person. And she realized she messed up. She applied for her business, a business, a corporation or LLC, but she put a personal social security number. She knew that was an error. She called SBA. They confirmed it was an error. She knew that from watching our videos. And SBA said reapply. So let's see what happened. On May 7th, so she reapplied. I did that. Uh, on May 7th, I got, a res I got a loan offer for 44000 on my original application. Well, congratulations. Wow. So because of our alerting Patty Russell to an error, she got the $44,000 loan application. I was hoping to get the grant, which was Matt, which would have mentioned my cattle rancher websites. Guess I'll have to wait and see. Thanks for all clearing up the confusion. You know, uh, Patty, a couple people for agriculture said that they applied and got the grant this week grant within 24 hours and then got the loan a few days later so i'm not sure why you didn't get your grant as well grant advance um i would call back sba if you got in your loan and say how come you didn't get a grant advance as well 
Jose says, still waiting three weeks. Haven't heard anything. Not good. Call SBA. Zigzag. I received my $1,000 grant on April 14th, $600 credit score. Good. Have you gotten Zigzag? Have you gotten your EIDL loan uh, email portal invite? When you do, drop in the comments. Love to hear it. Uh, KR Station. Keep doing your thing, man. Much appreciated. Oh, wonderful. Well, thank you for the nice comment. Jill at Finder Seller. I applied on April 3rd for EIDL. My credit was pulled on April 23rd. I did not receive any f email. May 2nd said the application was being reviewed. Sadly, no funds have been received. So Jill has not received an EIDL grant for an application on May, April 3rd. And a credit pulled on April 23rd. Call SBA. I mean, that's nothing else to say. That is just way too long. Call SBA. Ask to be escalated to Tier 2. Um, Black Sandry, Big Sandry says, I spoke to someone at SBA who was informed on my EIDL application that I did not check the tab for my advancement. Uh-oh. I applied on April 3rd. My credit was pulled 10 days later. Um, I'm in the queue. I sh sh should I be receiving something by email? I'm not sure if, if my business can endure another week of delayed funds. Anyone else experience this? Uh, it, big slandry, if you just called one person SBA, that's not enough. You need to be calling SBA constantly until you get the answer you want. If you have not received a grant for an EIDL application on April 3rd, you need to be on top of them. Um, if you watched our videos and, and believe there's just no error in your application, no error with the social security number or the business banking down or anything, anything like that, you still need to be on top of the ball with SBA and say, where is that grant money? David, um, SBA loan was only for $2,500. I'm not sure how they came up with that amount. I received a $1,000 grant. So David on the grant story jumped in and says he got a $1,000 grant, but got a $2,500 loan. I'm not sure either. Um, so, and I, I will add this as well, and you'll hear it on the EIDL loans video, that some people got take it or leave it amounts. X amount, and that is it. Other people got these enormous ranges. One person got a range from one thousand dollars to twenty to two two hundred and sixty thousand dollars. It's just all over the place. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, Aaron says received a grant from my farm the next day. So there you go. Received a loan offer two days later. Wow, they're moving fast with these agricultural people. Fully funded within a week. Someone actually said they got fully funded for agriculture the next day. Biggest holdup was the verification identity. Please be able to verify your identity. A uh, TCH, wonderful bombshell of a video. Thank you, LLA. Well, thank you, TCH. Ricardo, excellent nonstop contact. Thank you, Ricardo. Thank you for your great comments. Manic, uh, applied agricultural loan of, applied and got an agricultural loan of $15,000. Accepted. Did not receive grant. So that's interesting. A lot of you agricultural people got that loan right away, but didn't get the grant. But a few of you got the grant and then got the loan. I don't know what's going on with these, this agricultural stuff. And I know a lot of these EIDL, EIDL people from March 30th watching this video are probably not happy with you either. Because they've been waiting since April, since March 30th, and have got a penny. And you're getting money within three or four days of agricultural going live. Camp says, apply 330, credit pulled 414. Offered a portal, so he got the offer to go to the portal on May 7th. Loan amount was fixed amount equal to retail sales minus cost of goods divided by two. Still no grant. Hmm. So there is that calculation we talked about in the EIDL loan story. It's one of two calculations floating around um, that the loan amount, if you're approved based upon credit score, is retail sales minus cost of goods sold divided by two. Can't say it is, can't say it isn't, but that's what a lot of people are talking about. Michael says, received the loan offer today, but no grant deposit, no credit pulled either. 1000 to 32000 that's a good number. Rob, congratulations, Michael. Rob, uh, still nothing for mine, applied on 330. These 330 applications, what is going on, SBA, with the 330 people? I mean, you can hear it like a broken record today. Every one of you is having a problem at 3.30. Um, Thuy, Thuy Th Lamb says, I got $1,000, so LLA three weeks later, I'll get an email for a portal. Yes. About two to three weeks after you got the e got your grant, you will 
uh, the thousand dollars. So look on look at your direct deposit. The date you got that one thousand dollar grant. Count two to three weeks out, calendar days, and you and within that period of time, you should receive this email from SBA go, asking you to go to an SBA portal. If you want to know more about what's going to go on in that portal, watch the EIDL loan story today, which goes in incredible detail about what happens once you sign into that portal. Uh, it's a major journey. It says, thank you for all the help and information you provide. I applied for an EIDL, have not received an advance yet. I did receive two type of we have your application emails, and a third one still waiting. I will call on Monday. Um, I'm not sure what's going on. Is it possible my info was so wrong? Um, it's a major journey. So I'm not quite sure when you applied for the EIDL. If you applied on March 30th and you're watching this th video where I've mentioned March 30th now five times, I just don't know. If you applied in April, um, then then maybe there's more there's more hope. Bottom line is call SBA, talk to Tier 2, say it's been this long, tell them where, where your business is located. Um, you don't like the answer, if it's a, it's a get off the phone answer, hang up the phone, call back and speak to another person and keep on doing it until you get the correct answer or the most helpful answer. Jay, I applied on 330. Craig was pulled by on Experian on 313. Received a grant for $1,000 on April 15th. So here's someone who did get a grant on 330. Um, got the email to create my portal on May 7th. So I think that's last Thursday approximately. Got a quote to choose between 1000 and 41200 I chose the highest, of course. Uh, I answered a few questions. I identified who me, who I was. I hit the submit button. 24 hours later, just as we told you, 24 hours later, I received the funds, uh, and I had a 605, 605 credit score. Five hours later, I received an email to sign the documents. I hit the submit. Now I have to wait to see. Oh, I, now I have to wait and see how long I have to be funded. I'm in the state of Ohio. I hope that helps everyone. So yes, it's about um, it's about one business banking day thereafter you receive the funds. So if some of you were doing these things on Friday or Saturday, um, you could you could wait until Tuesday. And I remember all banks take a little different routing, different times to receive funds. So we have so much more. Um, I'm going to save this for tomorrow's video. And the EIDL video is, was long and, and we didn't even get to everything, we, all your comments as well. So we're going to save it for tomorrow. A lot more shocking, great details. As always, stay with LA for more. Thank you.